Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we'll see how to create relationships using Metabox with the help of MB views. Here is an example. In this practice, we will create and display a bi-directional relationship between instructors and courses. It shows which courses are related to an instructor and which instructor contributed to each course. Also, you can create a page like this to display the list of courses contributed by a specific instructor with extra information about the course. As well as, a page shows a course detailed information along with the instructor contributed it. Or this. Let's see which tools we need for this tutorial. First of all, we have the Metabox Core plugin to have a framework to create custom post types, custom fields, and relationships. You can download it directly from wordpress.org. We'll need some extensions for the advanced features. You can install them individually or use Metabox all-in-one to have them all in this practice. MB Custom Post Types to create custom post types for the courses and instructors. MB Relationships to create relationships between these post types. MB Views to create the page and its template for relationships. Metabox Builder to have an intuitive UI on the back end to create custom fields for extra information about the instructor and course. It also provides the UI to create the relationship in an intuitive way. In addition, you can use MB Admin Columns to display the related courses and related instructors in the dashboard like this. It's optional. That's all. Go to Metabox to create a new custom post type for the instructors. and another one for courses. After publishing, you'll see created custom post types here. These are some posts in each post type for example I created. If you need to save some extra information for each post type, create custom fields as usual. In this case, I just create some for the courses. In the setting tab, set the location as post type and select the course to apply the fields to it. Now let's create a relationship between the courses and instructors. Go to Metabox, Relationships to create the relationships between the courses and instructors post types. We have the from and to sections here. Because we're setting the relationship between two post types, set the object type as post in both two sections. In the post type option, choose the post type you want to create a relationship. The relationship is bi-directional so you can put the post types not in order. Here, I set the instructor in the from section, and the rest as course. Pay heed to this box. It's available when you activate the MB admin columns extension. When you check this option, there'll be a column in the dashboard to show which courses are related to the post of an instructor like this. Set it in the to section in the same way. In the field tab, you can set the label for the relationship section that shows in the post editor. There'll be a box at the right sidebar to choose which instructor is related to the current post in the course post type and vice versa. It displays as a field, this will make sense when you get posts from this field in the next step. You can select several courses in this section. And this is the label that we named. After publishing, go to a post editor. You can see a section here. Just fill in the information for the post.
you will see the information displayed like this. In the next steps, we'll display these relationships on both singular pages of the course post type, instructor post type, and on the archive page where all the courses are listed. The singular page of the instructor post type will be like this. It shows detailed information about one instructor. There will be a section to show all the courses that the instructor contributed to. Go to Views in Metabox and create a new template. In the Template tab, you can add some code or insert fields from the list in the right sidebar. First, choose the post title to get the name of the instructor. Then, choose the post content to get detailed information about the instructor. Pay attention to this section. It displays a list of posts contributed by this instructor. It's the relationship that we want. So we will get posts following the created relationships. Move on to the Query tab. You can see the name of the relationship that we created. We're creating a template for the instructor singular page, so choose this option. As you can see, when you edit a post in the instructor post type, the field for relationship has the name like this. This is the option we're choosing. These lines of code are to query the posts following the relationship. There will be multiple posts. There also is a loop here. To display each post information, just insert some fields as usual inside this loop. Choose the post thumbnail to show a featured image of the course. Next, post title to get the name of the course. I have some extra information about the course that saves in custom fields. They're on the list as well. Just choose them one by one. After getting all of the information of the posts as you want, move to the settings section of the view, set the type as singular, and choose the name of the post type as instructor in location. Go to a page that shows any instructor information, you will see the posts displayed like this. To have a better look for the page, go back to the created template, Add some div tags and classes for each information. Then add some CSS. Back to the page on front end, the new look has been done. Let's create a singular page of the course post type. In particular, along with displaying each course information, we'll show the instructor who contributed to them on the page. It uses the relationship we created. Go to view and create another template. Do likewise with the singular page of the instructor. Just choose the fields from the list on the right sidebar to display the course's information. First, choose the post thumbnail to show a featured image of the course. Then post title. Post content. Even the information in the custom fields such as type, date, place, and price. Now, to display information about the related instructor, I also use the Query tab, and choose the Connect from option. It's this option because the field for the relationship in the course's post editor has that name. It also may have more than one related instructor. So there is a loop here. Also insert fields inside this loop to display the instructor information. In this case, I choose only the post title to have the name of the instructors. Also set type and location for the view to apply it to the singular page of the course post type. 
let's see some pages for course details. Back to the created template, also add some div tags and classes to style the page. Then add some CSS. And this is the result. I created an example for the archive page that shows a list of courses. You can see the instructors contributed to each course here. Now, create a new page as usual. Go to the views in Metabox and create a new template for the page. In the template tab, insert the post title field to display the page's title. For the section that displays the course's information, add this code. This line of code is to declare that we'll get all of the posts from the post type that has this slug. We'll use this function to get posts. And here is the loop to display all the posts. Let's get and display the course's information as usual by inserting some fields from the list on the right sidebar into this loop. These all things are the information from the post's default fields and custom fields. For the related instructors that store in the relationship field, I use this shortcode. It is to list all the instructors related to a course that is defined by ID. However, it hasn't worked yet. We should declare this shortcode in the theme file later to activate it. Now, scroll down to the settings section of the views. Choose the location as page, and choose the courses. Go to the page on front end you will see that there is no instructor name displayed since we haven't activated the mentioned shortcode. You can go to the theme file and add code directly or use a third-party plugin, for example, code snippets. Go to snippets, add a new one. Add code to the function tab. These lines of code are to stipulate that we will get data from the relationship that connect to the current post and has this ID. These ones to check if there is any data from the relationship field. We will get the title of the instructor and its permalink. Now, go back to the archive page on the front end, the name of the instructors displayed. To style this page, go back to the view, add some div tags and classes. Then add some CSS code. you will have a new look for the page. That's all for the tutorial today. I uploaded all of these codes which I used for this practice on GitHub, so you can refer to them. Now, remember to like, share and subscribe for upcoming tutorials. Bye.